Hey yo, what's good? It is your boy Super again. Now, your boy thought, fuck it, we're gonna hop on to this fucking Project Fuchsia shit that people have been talking about on the Android area of YouTube. Now, for those that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, Android or fucking Google Fuchsia is Google's homebrew operating system that's based not on a Java kernel, not on a Linux kernel, it is their own kernel. At least that's what I think I've heard. Now, this, don't confuse this, this is not Android whatsoever. This is far from, and well, not too far. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but this is Google's own homebrew. This isn't what, because like, I'm pretty sure some of y'all know, Android was not part of Google in the very fucking beginning. Android was going to have its own little come up. You know what I'm saying? So Google found out about Android, and then Google's like, hey, y'all, we'll fucking offer y'all so much billion, million, whatever the fuck they bought the Android brand out of. Thus, why now Google is on top of the Android shit since Google owns Android. Google, my mom said bring that. Oh my god. Shout out to my girl right there. But, um, Google bought Android out and they made it their own thing. So, that's why now you hear a Google Nexus. Well, it's not Nexus anymore. You got the Google Pixel. Those get updates fast as fuck because those phones get Android, like, built to their, like, they're built, perf what am I trying to fucking say? They're built for those specific phones. And then, of course, T-Mobile, Verizon, they get their own versus an Android. Like, T-Mobile, they introvert, they introvert, what did I say introvert? They incorporate Wi-Fi calling. Like, for instance, T-Mobile, they put Wi-Fi calling into their Android builds and their own T-Mobile bloatware and special features. And then not only is that with T-Mobile, but say you buy a Samsung Galaxy S8, you see? Samsung gets that Android build and puts their own fucking shit into it, like they're multitasking. Google didn't put multitasking first. Andro uh, Samsung did that. So Samsung incorporates multitasking, um, all that other bullshit, S Pen shit that Samsung puts in. Then you got like LG. LG puts their own twist onto the uh, fucking Android builds. But see, Google, with their own Nexus line, their Pixel lineup, when Google had Motorola for a little bit, those phones got the updates to Android first, thus being why Google owns Android. Wait, what the fuck was the point I'm getting to? God damn, I just rambled off. Point that I was getting to, though, however, is Google, I guess they're trying to make a whole new operating system out of their own. Not something they bought, but something from their own. Now, this is Project Fuchsia, and this project actually in itself is the Armadillo APK. This literally APK, before I even hop into this shit, we're gonna go into the, the info about this. It's gonna be com.google.fuchsia armadillo. Now, I've heard different stories, but the one that makes the most sense on where this APK came from was this is actually one of the developers. I think he possibly leaked it, or it's a demo, or it's a demo leak. It was something. It's, this APK is floating around all over the place, and don't y'all worry. I'll hook you up with the link to download this APK if I don't forget that it is. But anyways, th look at the APK. This is 0.0.1, .0 so what I'm about to show y'all... This APK is far from done. This isn't even like an app. Just imagine this as an emulator for the operating system. This 43 MB has the whole operating system of Fuchsia. Now, this APK though, of course, a 43 MB APK, what kind of operating system is that? This shit is far from finished. This is an alpha, beta, beta, alpha, alpha, beta, if you know what I'm saying. This shit is concept as fuck. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right into Fuchsia. Notice, no status bar, no nav bar, nothing. This is your interface as of when this got leaked, obviously. Now, to do, the first thing you wanna do, or if you download this, you're just gonna click the profile picture. And this is when shit gets good. You got your Friday, 453 Mountain View. Now, of course, I'm not in no Mountain View. I'm in fucking Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, Friday, 4.53, that's accurate. Battery percentage, that's accurate. The Wi-Fi, I'm not on no Google Guest Wi-Fi. T-Mobile, I'm on T-Mobile, but 
everybody else that's installed this APK, there says all this same shit. The only thing this APK reads off of is your battery percentage and your clock. Now, the sound bar right here, this doesn't change nothing on my phone. Brightness doesn't change. Airplane mode, do not disturb. Auto rotate. None of this works on this shit. This is all just mere concept. Log out, don't do, these don't even highlight when you click. I don't know if that was going to be a weird ass burp or what right now. Excuse me. Now, shit, you boy, that big ass breath. This is where things get different. You swipe, well, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. You swipe up. This is where your Google Now is supposed to be. And your Google Now cards. Now, you click Ask Anything. Here is your Fuchsia keyboard. It's the same sort of as an Android one. I mean, I don't know how I feel about these greenish, bluish colors or whatever the fuck. Now, I'm assuming that this does, you can search for suggestion, like see you search through the cards and whatnot. This is your symbols and then go and then, yeah. So, fuck, okay, I'm not trying to use my Android nav bar, I'm trying to just specifically use the operating system right here. So, right now, like I said, there's no nav bar other than my own phone one, so you swipe down, you get out of it. Let's go ahead and check one of the stories, for instance, uh... Let's go ahead and just click the top one. Nothing loads. All you see is where you're supposed to insert the info. Now, if you look on the bottom, however, you can see the nav bar. I'm guessing this is what it's supposed to be. What I find strange is the home button obviously takes you home straight to this. So we're going to go back onto this. Look real closely to the top, though, the bottom left. You click right here, you get to see your time. You click the bottom right, you get to see the percentage, or vice versa. You can click either side, it shows that shit. Home button, you hold it down. You go to these little settings right here, which is the same ones as on the main lock screen. You click it again, you get out of that. Um, you can't, right now, as of now, you can't pinch to zoom. You can't, I'm not trying to interact with my status bar, go away. Shoot. So, you can't do much as of now. You can click it. But once you click it, you can't get the fuck out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click home. Now, the, like this, these are your Google cards up here. I'm not too sure what these were. Sweet. I don't know if these are st right here. Here's email. So I'm assuming that's your app. Then you got story ETA, story ZTA, story DTA, story. I'm not even gonna keep pronouncing these shit. So I'm just gonna butcher the fuck out of them. Now these, I don't get it. I don't. I mean, I've seen other people reviewing this. They're not too sure either what these are supposed to be. How what I believe it, though, is these are what are going to be the apps, I believe. I'm not, I mean, that's my guess. I'm just assuming they put story as just a placeholder. I mean, y'all got to remember, this is a fucking beta, alpha, alpha, beta, beta, alpha, alpha, beta. If y'all get what I'm saying, this is far from finished. But your boy's going to go ahead and click on email. And it's mad module. So, for all we know, they're not even going to be apps. They're going to be modules. But if you notice the top left corner, you get like what it looks like a back arrow. You click this, though, it takes you into the app. So, now we got to click home again. Click back here. I'm not sure what the hell that arrow is supposed to do. Then you got your profile logo again up here, and you click it, and it's the same shit. It just zooms into the app. So, click home again. <laughs> get back on this. And... Again, that's all you see is just this. You click on it, it does the same shit. It just takes you into the app. So, home again. Now, what I find interesting... Well, first, let's just go ahead and click on one of these, the green one. What's weird is, now you got... What's, what is it? One, two, three, six of these arrows. And they, you touch and nothing... It just zooms into this. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the red one. You only got one. Let's go ahead and go to the green one. You got six. Wait, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. So, what this means is anybody's guess. You got the blue, it's just one. So, what those could possibly mean, I got no clue at all. And yes, I believe I just said mean. I don't know why I fucking said that. Your boy doesn't script these fucking videos. Your, goes, your boy goes in raw and hard. Pause on that shit. But yeah, um,. What I found out though, and that I don't, I haven't seen anybody else review this, but I haven't watched too many videos, so I can't say I discovered this. 
if you hold down, I'll do the email since it's orange, it's easier to see. If you hold down these, you'll feel a small vibration. And if you, you can slide, you can see right here, you can move it. But if you push it onto these, I believe this is what Fuchsia's version of multitasking will look like. So you can switch back and forth. Well, fuck, and there goes my status bar. You can kind of switch back and forth. Slow, like somewhat. I'm trying not to slide my status bar down. Fuck. And then you can go back and forth. Well, fuck, okay. Now, you get a little multitasking card. Now, I'm going to go hold down the story Zeta. And you can have three now of the multi-view window or multitask, whatever you want to call this. And I believe you can have to fucking six or fucking, I don't even know. We're just going to go ahead and try to put all these in one vid one card and just see how far it can fucking go. So now we got four. Now let's put story ETA. And it just fucking keeps going. Right now we're at, what, five? Let's go ahead and just try putting all these in one card and see what happens. Okay, we're at six. That might be the limit right there. Who knows? Oh, shit, we're at eight. Yeah, okay, all right. Let's get this to 10. We're at nine. Now we're getting glitchy. See how the fucking profile pics are going with the arrows right now. So, let's go to 10. We're at 10. Let's just fucking keep on going. What's going to happen? We crashed the fucking application. Shit. Okay, now we're getting glitchy. And now this is even running slower than what it was. I was going to stop it there because I want to leave some of these cards. Oh, hell no. Well, eh, we'll just leave it like this. Fuck it. But um, now to get out of that and to remove it, I have no... That's... Oh, it is glitchy as fuck now. It is slow as shit. Okay, we're just gonna leave that the fuck alone. But yeah. Uh, what happens if you hold these down? Nothing. Nothing happens at all. But anyways, this is your boy's review of Project Fuchsia. The possible successor to the Android operating system. Now, when this comes out, it's, again, anybody's fucking guess. Like I said, my theory is, or what I think I've heard, I've heard too many different shits. The developer that's working on this had made a demo application of the operating system. They made a demo application so other people in the headquarters or whatever the fuck they're at can try it out and check. What I'm assuming happened, somebody's dumbass leaked this. Well, I can't say dumbass because... Shit, I, I'll fucking think of myself for leaking this shit. <laughs> they leaked it to the public. And you already know these Android communities, these XDA forums and all this shit. You leak something, it's going to spread like wildfire, man. So now, like, I, I believe this IBK leaked a couple days ago, maybe three days, four days ago. At least that's when I first started seeing it all over the place. It's probably been leaked for weeks now. Who fucking knows? But point is... This shit, as you can see right here, this is far from done. This fuchsia has long ways to go. And who knows, this could end up like Project Aura, that modular phone. They could work on this for two years, and it could just be gone. Never heard of again. So, anything can happen. Now, like I've said, it'll be very interesting to see a successor to Android. I, myself, am diehard Android fanboy. I cannot live without Android. And it'll be sad to see Android go. But if this can pull through and top Android, I'll be more than fucking happy to fucking switch operating systems. But your boy's gonna stop rambling about his opinions and whatnot. Now, take this video for what it's worth. I mean, I can't back up the information I've heard 100%. Because again, these are all rumors. But hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. And it's your boy Super, and I will see you in the next one. And as I always say, oh my god, now I'm fucking up. Watch me fuck up stopping the recording.